Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the iPhone 5 front camera repair and replacement guide. The iPhone 5 is probably the easiest iPhone yet to repair and the great thing is it still uses the Pentelope screwdriver. The first thing you want to do is remove the two screws on the bottom of the iPhone 5. Uh, these are both the Pentelope 5 star screws. You're just going to remove those two screws. And strangely enough, the iPhone 5 is similar to the 3G and 3GS. Uh, you guys will see that in just a second here. And I will be using a suction cup to essentially pry off the front of the screen. Now you want to place that suction cup towards the bottom of the screen right above the home button. And you want to pry it in the same direction I am prying the screen right here. Don't pull the screen completely off because there are still three cables held in that you'll see in just a moment here. These three cables are held under a little bracket and you will need to remove this bracket uh, before disconnecting these three cables with a nylon spudger or pry tool. And here's that little bracket right there. As you can see there's three screws holding it in. Please note, if you're not using a screw mat or anything like that, to uh, properly sort these screws as all the screws in this phone are sized differently. Um, all the screws from here on out are going to be Phillips screws. Uh, it's really simple, so uh, go ahead and remove these three screws right here. And once those three are off, you can go ahead and remove this little silver bracket from the phone. It's not connected to anything. Uh, it should just come right off. With the bracket removed, it will now reveal the three flex cables that hold your touchscreen glass digitizer in place. You want to just go ahead and use a nylon spudger or a pry tool. I don't really ever recommend using metal on side um, these phones, but I use the nylon spudger here. Pry tools work fine. We sell some green pry tools on our website. Um, you just want to disconnect the three cables using this pry tool. And with those three cables removed, you have now separated your touchscreen glass digitizer assembly. To remove the front camera on the iPhone 5, you're going to want to remove the following three screws as shown here. Your front camera is actually held in under these three screws, uh, which actually hold that little silver bracket and a little black piece in place. You're going to notice that as soon as I remove these three screws, this little silver bracket should come right off um, with simple ease. And then you'll also notice that little black squared bracket goes under this. Uh, you definitely want to keep that. Don't want to lose it and of course when you put it back together you want to make sure that those little gold prongs that I showed you are properly put in place and touching the top of the uh, camera. Alright, once that is removed you're going to remove the following four screws. Uh, two on one side, two on the other and there's an additional fifth screw um, on the bottom of this back plate which will actually need to be removed as well. Uh, you can remove that fifth screw at the bottom, which I'll show you guys in just a second earlier. It's really up to you uh, which orientation you want to take these five screws out in. Um, it really doesn't matter how you do it, to be honest. All right, as you can see, my bracket uh, just kind of loosened up itself, but if you're having a hard time getting yours off, you can use a spudger. Um, just place it in the little grooves on the bottom like I'll show you right here. Kind of place it in between that groove. Maybe use a spudger. You can use an X-Acto knife and it should pop open. And then this is the fifth screw I was talking about earlier. You'll want to remove that fifth screw before actually removing this bracket. If you want, you can remove that fifth screw earlier. Um, even before the four screws I just showed you, it really just depends on how you want to remove it. The orientation really does not matter on those five screws. All right, and now you're going to have your uh, front camera to replace. Once again, this is held in by a tiny bit of adhesive. I'm going to show you how to gently remove this. Use a safe open pry tool, spudger, whatever it may be. Uh, just be very careful. Gently lift up on it. Uh, you don't want to rip that flex cable, obviously, on your front camera. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can either uh, put your new camera in or if you had to remove your old camera for work purposes, uh, leave it out. And that's pretty much the full repair. That's a flash diffuser right there. If you need any parts, please visit us at InjuredGadgets.com. Thank you.